Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So this is the beginning of this new year 2024. There was a news regarding a comet which is also called as the Devil's Comet that is traveling in our solar system and is getting closer to our Earth and Sun day by day. This news has become viral since last few weeks and has become a point of discussion among the community of amateur astronomers and aspiring astrophotographers because this comet has been seen and has already photographed by many amateur astrophotographers. So this comet is now become a point of discussion. Yes, I am talking about none other but the Devil's Comet or you can say that Royal P. Pond Group Comet. So in this video today I am going to discuss in detail that how, when and where we can see this Pond Group Comet and how we can track its live data by using the star vision application by just using our smartphone. What are the ideal conditions to photograph this comet, to see it with the telescope and binoculars. So all these topics are going to be discussed in detail in this video. So I request you all to please watch the whole video and don't skip any point so that you will get complete information about this comet and how to see it. But before beginning with the video, there is one important notice. If you are passionate towards astrophotography and if you want to begin with just smartphone astrophotography and if you want to involve in a community or a group that has been working on this uh, program that is smartphone astrophotography and sharing daily updates, then you can join the telegram group. The link to the telegram group is given in the description. Click on the link and you will be able to join the telegram group for smartphone astrophotography. So yes, coming back to the Royal Speed Point to comment. Without wasting much time, let's begin our today's video. So friends, let's first see some basic information regarding this Ponsbrook Comet. This Comet 12P Ponsbrook is a heli-type comet with an orbital period of roughly 71 years and its nucleus is approximately 30 km wide. This 71 years means that it is a short period comet. It has been observed during previous journeys through the inner solar system, allowing amateur astronomers to study its behavior and characteristics over time. The shape of this comet has earned its name Horned Comet or we can say the Devil's Comet. Like other comets, 12P Ponsbrook is also composed of ice, dust and rocky material. When it approaches the sun, the heat causes the ice inside the comet to turn from solid to gas. This gas escapes from the surface of the comet, dragging dust with it. This forms a large cloud and a tail that is pushed away from the sun by the solar wind. Hence, we can see the tail of the comet. And as the comet gets closer to the sun day by day, its tail gets increased. Now, this comet 12P Ponsbrook is named after two of the most prolific comet observers of all time. First is French astronomer Jean Louis Pauls, and second is British American astronomer William R. Brooks. Because of the dual nature of the discovery of this comet, this comet 12P is now bearing the name of both of the astronomers. So, this was about the some information regarding this Ponsbrook comet. So now let's see that how we can track the data of this comet by using the star gazing application that will include the part that when we have to see this comet and each in which direction we have to see this comet. So on screen you can see some of the star gazing application that I have shown. You can use any of them. All these applications are available on play store and the method to find out the comet by using this application is same. So today I will be showing you how to track this comet by using the Stellarium application. So let's switch over to the stargazing application. So friends, now you can see that I've opened this Stellarium stargazing application and the user interface of this application looks like this. You can currently see that a star map is shown in the application and we can currently see the Ponsbrook comet, Jupiter, Mercury. But currently the timing is morning. You can see that it is 10, 15 a.m. of the morning. And the timing that is shown in the application is 7.50 of the night. So this is generally a scenario that whenever you will open this study time application, if you are opening it in the daytime, then it will currently, uh, it will directly shift the daytime to nighttime in the application. It is a by default feature. Okay, so we don't need to worry about it. So first thing is that we need to do some settings and then we will move over to tracking the comet. So first thing is that we have to set our location to get the accurate location of the comet. This comet is currently visible in the northern hemisphere and in the later period it may get visible in the southern hemisphere. So I am from India and I am living in the northern hemisphere. So the position of the comet will be according to it. So first thing is that we have to set our location. For that we have to go to the menu. So for that we have to click on this left side option that is shown in the bottom. Okay. Up, uh, sorry in the top, top left corner. 
okay so we have to click on this and then we have to move in the settings after opening the menu and after settings we have to click on this location so you can see the different methods are shown for finding or for adjusting the location first is the auto detect motion second is the by uh, manually entering the light long of your area third is by searching the name of a city or country fourth is utc of 10 and fifth is by pinpointing the location on the map okay as i said that i am from india currently my location is set so i will not change it but according to me the most accurate method is by let long entering the let long or searching the name of a city or country so once the location is set we have to just close the menu and don't do other settings okay so we'll come back to the main part now we have to search the comet 12p bonds group in the application so for that you can see this magnifying lens like option that is shown in the top right corner so we have to click on this and it will show that the search bar is open so i will search for this comet 12p points brook okay so you can see that i have already typed 12p points and it has shown me the comet so i will click on this and you can see that the comet gets located in the application you can see that the comet is now found out in the application but this is for the application part what about the sky so for that there is also an additional feature that is the compass option that is shown in the middle of this application as soon as you will click on this compass option the co application will tell you to point your phone upwards towards the sky so that it can tell you the real time location of the constellation and star in the night time even when it is the day time okay as i said that currently is 10:15 am of the morning but the let's say comet will be visible after sunset so even when i am not in the uh, let's say evening period we, i can still find out and get to know that what will the accurate or you can say the approximate not accurate but approximate position of the comet in the night sky so i will click on this compass option and you can see that i have already upward i mean i have already faced my phone towards this sky so you can see that the comet is now currently in the center you can see this circle okay so as i will move my phone in other direction you can see that the circle is pointing towards this comet because we have searched for the comet so it will tell you to align your phone in such a way okay and you can see that as you are moving your phone the degrees getting decrease again you can see that as i have moved away the degrees are increasing so i will slowly move my phone such that the comet gets in the center of this circle so now i have correctly aligned my phone in the direction of the comet so this is how you have to find out the comet in the sky okay once again i am showing you you can see that the comet is now currently located let's say if you have not aligned your phone in this direction or let's say if your phone is in the direction then you can see that a circle and an arrow will always point after you will click on this compass option and then it will tell you to align your phone in such a way that it is facing towards the ponsbrook comet okay i know that in this direction the comet will be there so i have already aligned my phone but if you have aligned in other direction then also you can move your phone and align it in that direction so let's see in which direction it is so currently the comet is in west just uh, slightly right side of the west direction okay so from this we can get to know that yes we have to uh, let's say if you want to observe this comet or if you want to photograph it then the direction to photograph this is west or you can say just slight right uh, side to the west direction that is just slightly uh, closer to the sunset direction now one important thing is that after this okay you can see that now the uh, uh, let's say sky map is not moving because i have clicked on this application okay you can just uh, scroll the sky map also by using your fingers now one important thing is that uh, the comet is not let's say visible directly after the sunset because after the sunset there will be a twilight hour because the sky will not get completely dark just after the sunset so after few minutes of the sunset we can start observing the comet so now how to find out the timing exact timing and for that you can see in the bottom right side that timing is shown okay so i will click on this and you can see that a bar will open which will allow you to change the date month year and the timing so now i will click on this timing portion and i will shift it to 655 so now you can see that it is approximate the sunset time okay sunset had already occurred and now you can see the location of this comet here so i will gradually increase time and then we can get to know that how the comet will move okay so this is how you can also get to know about the location of the comet okay so let's say after 7:30 the sky is uh, almost dark 
and we can start our observation and we can track the comet now one important thing is that this comet it has is at its low altitude okay so how to find out the altitude so you can see these markings okay these lines that are shown and in the water uh, let's say in the uh, extreme right hand you can see the degrees are shown that is 10 degree 20 degree so as you will move or as you will zoom in into it you will get to know the altitude of the comet you can see that it is closer to 15 but slightly above 15 degrees okay so now you can see that it is roughly about 16 degrees okay it is 16 degrees in the altitude that is the height of this comet so it is uh, let's say very closer to the horizon so if you are living in city areas then it may be difficult for you but yes let's say if you have a tracker and a dslr then you can first find out the comet and just start your tracker and you can get some shots because some people have already photographed it from let's say bottle 4 and bottle 5 skies also okay and if you are under dark size let's say bottle 3 2 or even bottle 1 if you can go up to that then it will be a uh, let's say a beautiful scenery for you to photograph this comet okay so this is how you have to find out the altitude once again i'm showing it so just uh, we have to click on this 12p ponzuru comet and just zoom in by using our fingers and then you will get to know the altitude okay so this is how the comet will move in the sky and this is the altitude of the comet okay so this was about in which direction we have to see that is in the west just after the sunset okay and uh, the timing is as i said after the sunset but accurate timing is after 20 to 25 minutes after the sunset that is when the sky gets start to dark okay so this is how we have to find out the comet by using this telegram application and you can similarly uh, let's say work with the other application as i showed that is sky tonight then starbuck to application okay you can work with those application and they will work some similar to this so this was about how we have to find out this comet track it comet and yes one more thing that is magnitude of this comet it is very important so if you want to know some more details so just move this bar ahead okay and you will see the details of this comet so currently as i said then the magnitude so the magnitude of this comet is roughly about 5 so it is still not bright because if we compare to other stars then if the comet falls to let's say magnitude of 4 or something 3 then it will be a better chance to photograph it and to see it okay so this was about this comet 12p bronze proof and uh, yes regarding the photographing part so ideal conditions are you can see that the magnitude is this much uh, uh, sorry the altitude of this comet is this much so you have to go to such place where the horizon should be clear okay because if the horizon is not clear then you will not be able to get it in your frame okay uh, okay if uh, any other thing like building or any other trees or maybe some other things are there then it will be a problem for photographing the comet okay and here are some of the images that are photographed by my friends okay with dslrs and also with c stars telescope that is a smart telescope okay so if you want any guidance then you can approach them for photographing this comment and i'm uh, sure that they will help you out okay i've also mentioned their instagram ids so this was about this 12p points per comment i hope that you enjoyed this video and you got complete information about this comment if you still have any doubt then please comment in the comment section below and i will answer to your queries okay Thank you for watching and please share this video to your friends so that they can also get to know about this comment.